there are many types of animals. Some of them have some pretty unique characteristics. You could even say they are a bit, well, weird. But why have some animals evolved to have these special features? Hi everyone, I'm Stacy with Six Flags Great Adventure and Safari. And today you are going to learn all about survival tactics. In what ways have animals adapted to their environments in order to survive and reproduce? So first, I guess we need to explain what is an adaptation. An adaptation is a change or the process of change by which an organism or species becomes better suited to its environment. Adaptations provide an advantage to a species in their environment. Let's take a look at my friend Dachali. Hi Dachali. Being a California sea lion, she has some pretty awesome adaptations that have helped her survive in our natural habitat. Being a marine mammal, sea lions are well adapted for both the land and the water. Take a look at those large front flippers. Not only do they allow her to walk upright on land, but they help to propel her body through the water to help her catch her prey and avoid predators such as sharks and killer whales. Next, those whiskers on her face are known as vibrissae. They can tell small changes in her environment to help her find her prey such as fish. Being predators, sea lions have also adapted very sharp teeth. Those sharp teeth help her to catch her prey. Now I know what you're thinking. You probably think Dachali needs a dental visit. But the reason that Dachali's teeth are brown in color is because unlike humans, she doesn't have enamel on her teeth. Sea lions secrete an oil all over their body to help keep them insulated in the cooler waters. And therefore, it turns her teeth brown. So how did sea lions get to be this way? Well, new traits will be inherited through the process of natural selection when the need for a particular function is present. Sometimes over long periods of time, these new adaptations can create enough changes for an organism to become its own distinct species. Isn't that crazy, Dachali? Next, it's time to take a journey with our giraffe. Did you know that the ancestor of the giraffe used to be a lot shorter? Over time, giraffes have adapted longer and longer necks to help them eat food from tall trees. If you look closely at giraffes, you may notice some slight differences in their appearance, depending on where they're found in the wild. There are actually nine subspecies or types of giraffe that differ slightly from one another. You can see these differences in coloration, spot placement, and size. Each animal has a set of spots unique to them, just like a human's fingerprint is unique. Now the differences in each subspecies are quite small, but they have been adapted due to the animal's habitats and environment. And the traits that they have have been passed down to their offspring for generations. If these traits continue to change, one or more of these subspecies may eventually become its own distinct species. Whether it's land, sea, or in the sky, you can find birds in many different habitats. Birds have been able to adapt to a variety of situations. With their hollow bones and flight feathers, parrots, like my friend here, are able to easily avoid predators by taking to the sky. Despite their wings, ostrich are too heavy to get off the ground. Instead, they have strong leg muscles, making them the fastest bird on land, reaching speeds of 45 miles an hour. Last but certainly not least, penguins are quite unique and are much better adapted for water than air. Their solid bones and dense feathers help them dive in the deep water and stay insulated. Now, why would an animal need to adapt? Perhaps changes in temperature or climate, changes in food source, 
differing habitats or habitat changes, and even social changes, such as attracting a mate. As you can see, animals have adapted and changed to meet their needs and survive. This has allowed a number of unique animals to inhabit all areas on Earth. Next video, we'll discuss different types of adaptations and explore the features of animals that have them. Today, we hope you learned how awesome adaptations can be. Until next time, we hope you have a wild day.